Hey guys, I check every week. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get iOS 7 uh, right now. Um, if you guys watched my WWDC recap video, in there I talked about iOS 7, uh, the betas, and how you can get it right now. Uh, and basically, iOS 7 is going to be released to the public in the fall, and that'll be the final version. But right now, they already came out with uh, the first beta to iOS 7, and there'll be more betas to come uh, over the summer until the final uh, version is released to the public. And um, to access all these betas right now and get it before the final and um, everyone in the public um, gets iOS 7, uh, you can go to udidactivator.com. Another YouTuber that I know, uh, Legit Jailbreaks, um, him and uh, some other person made this site. And all you have to do is um, activate your UDID. Um, and the UDID is like a number that belongs to each specific iOS device. You need this number to be registered with an Apple developer account. Apple developer accounts, they uh, cost $100 a year. And rather than paying that $100 a year, you can pay um, a small fee um, to this UDID activator website here. And uh, they'll register your device's UDID to their Apple dev developer account. Uh, and then you can go ahead in iTunes and you can update to iOS 7 betas right now. Now this does only work with these devices that are listed right here as you can see. Um, so if you don't have one of these devices, they're not eligible to upgrade to iOS 7. You're never going to be able to update to iOS 7. Uh, but if your device is listed in these right here, um, you can go ahead and click on buy now here. And you can choose how many UDIDs you have. So if you have like two different devices, you have like an iPad and an iPhone. Uh, if you want to register both of them, you can. Uh, it's going to be $9 there. Um, one is just seven dollars um, and here's all the pricings right here if you want to check those out and what you have to do to find your UDID uh, is go to iTunes you're gonna select your device in the sidebar here or um, up at the top here if you if you don't have the sidebar view available and then where it says serial number you're gonna click on that and it's gonna say identifier UDID you're gonna right click on that hit copy you're gonna go back over to uh, the website here and you're going to paste that right in there and you're going to click buy now. You can check out with all these different credit card companies right here. Uh, it's a very simple process and I believe it does go through PayPal um, but you can just use your credit card and I think like uh, check out with PayPal as a guest or something. Um, but yeah it's very simple. It'll take them a little bit of time to activate it. Um, in iOS 7 the betas have just been released now so uh, they're very busy right now registering devices so it may take longer than normal. Um, that's all you have to do. You'll get a confirmation email from them saying it's been registered and at that point you can go to downloads over here. It's going to take you to ibetadownload.com and then this website you're going to go ahead and go to download right here. Uh, and then you'll see all the devices listed here and you're going to go ahead and select the device that you have. Um, for the iPhone 5s, you look at the back um, bottom right of the iPhone 5 and it will have the model number right there. Uh, and then you just click it and download it and it'll take you to a page that looks like this and this is how it'll start downloading. Um, and it does download as a DMG file which is specific to Mac. Uh, that's a Mac file. Um, so if you're on Mac, you would just open it up like normal and then your IPSW file and iOS 7 will be right there. You'll have to take that and drag it to your desktop. Um, and that's what you'll have to do so far there. If you're on Windows, my friend said that you have to uh, find a converter. Uh, and I'll put a link for one in the description or something once I figure out uh, which one to use. Um, and it'll convert this DMG file to the IPSW. Uh, so once you have that on your desktop or whatever you would like it to have, you're going you're to go back into iTunes. You're going to make sure your device is plugged into iTunes yet. If you're on Windows, you're going to hold the Shift button on your keyboard. If you're on Mac, you're going to hold the Option button on your keyboard. And then you're going to select update or restore, whichever one you decide to do. Um, you will want to back up your device before you do this, just in case something goes wrong. Um, but yeah, you're going to go ahead and hold shift if you're on Windows, hold option or keyboard if you're on Mac, and then uh, click update or restore. And then you're going to select the IPSW, wherever you have it saved to, on your computer. And it's going to go ahead and update. And that's all you have to do. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you um, understood everything you have to do. If you have any questions about it at all, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll get back to you and answer whatever question you may have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a like down below. It helps me out. If you want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe, uh, and that will notify you when I release my next videos. I'll have more Apple stuff to come. Um, if you didn't check out my WWDC recap video, I'll have it annotated somewhere, um, and you can check that out if you'd like to, uh, and see everything that Apple uh, released there and all the new stuff they came out with there and I'll have more Apple based videos to come in the future and I'll probably have a review of iOS 7 or kind of like an overview video of iOS 7 running on my iPhone 5 once I get that all set up and everything there. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you next video. See you later.